In 1985, a group of employees from three Adelaide textile mills began work on the first unit of the Melbourne College of Textiles Outreach Program. Today, over 200 employees from 32 different textile companies across Australia are involved in the program, and the first graduates have received their certificate in textile technology. The outreach program is part of an Australia-wide drive to increase efficiency and productivity in manufacturing. Our problem is that other countries, particularly our Asian neighbours, are becoming much better at manufacturing goods than we are. So we not only choose to buy imported products in preference to our own, we have trouble selling what we produce, even to fellow Australians. To be competitive, we need to provide quality goods when and where the consumer wants and at competitive prices. This not only means we need to create a more efficient manufacturing base, but that you, the employee, need to become part of a more skilled and flexible workforce. The federal government, unions and employers have been working together on strategies to take Australian manufacturing into the world market. The result? The restructuring of industry. An important part of this is a ward restructure, where for the first time, pay levels are linked to the skills employees use rather than the job they do. This is the actual design coming on the screen now and you'll see the various areas we've actually coloured in. After the calibration, all you do is the sample which is weighed. Which is the emphasis is on training, so that the skills of workers are constantly being increased and greater productivity results. If we've got a, a cone of yarn that states 10 tags, we therefore know that 1,000 metres weighs 10 grams. The old way of training sending employees along to a college for an evening a week or a number of days each term at times which suit the college is no longer always appropriate. Industry needs flexible, on-site, short-release training. Anybody got a calculator? The Melbourne College of Textiles has responded to this need in a number of ways. One of them is the outreach program. Yes, Kevin. Well, the problem appears to be that you've taken them the other way around. And if you look very closely at the velvet and the velvet team, you'll see... From a wide range of topics that aim to broaden and deepen the learner's knowledge of the textile industry, the company and the college together select six units, a total package that will provide the most relevant training for each group of employees. We're at the end of the Industrial Revolution, if you like, where the mechanical engineering could go no further. And then we're changing into what we call the new technology era. We're talking about electronics, we're talking about hydraulics, pneumatics, computer control and robotics. And this is an enormous challenge for the employees in the textile industry to come to grips with. Because what it means is that we've got to learn new skills if we're going to do as Mr Button wants us to do, and that's become world competitive. For the employees, the program is almost, it's almost vital because of a ward restructure. A ward restructure is, in the textile, the TCF industries, is going to be based around seven classifications. Each of these classifications are going to be skills levels. Now, for the employee to go from one classification to the next um, means that they're going to have to acquire new skills. If they acquire these new skills, they will be paid more money. What do you think about this, this yarn here? Um, the, the twist is very irregular. It's two different yarns twisted together. The twist uh, is very high in one section and it's, it's very low in another section. Trainees work together on each unit for between one and a half to two hours of company time and individually in their own time. Most groups take about 16 weeks to cover the eight to ten topics in each unit. And have we got a question on that? Oh, well, this is what we've got to examine. Oh, yeah. You can write this species book. Oh, yeah. A few employees choose to study only individual units. 
Most intend to complete the six units and receive the certificate in textile technology. It's a crushable bead, so it must be all right. It smells like all. The main highlight is seeing people achieving something that they have not uh, given themselves a chance to achieve or never been able to achieve before. Yeah. Also, uh, a major highlight is the fact that so many women can participate in the, in the study groups. Uh, up till now, we have not, in the college anyway, had many women available to study these programs, but it seems to me that now, uh, in the outreach system anyway, we get a lot of women coming forward who do well, do very, very well. I started the course to try and increase my knowledge of textiles, basically. Um, I'm involved only in weaving, and uh, I knew yarns were spun, but I didn't know how they were spun. And now I've got a bit more understanding of how yarns are spun before they come to us in the weaving. I suppose you know what other people go through. You think you've got your own problems in your own department. You're against everyone else, but I think it, knowing more about other departments, you're able to work together more. It was worth the effort for the simple reason uh, I learned things which I didn't really know about it. Basically in quality control. Uh, it made me aware of what could go wrong from the start down to the finish and uh, I just found it rewarding all around. When I first started I said oh, I know, know, know a lot about the job and everything and know all about this but when you start doing it you, you really realise that you don't know everything and it really does help you. I wish I haven't started, now that I have started, I have to finish it. <laughs> because it takes a lot, it takes a lot of time and effort. I took the course on firstly at the insistence of my manager, who thought that uh, to progress through the company I needed some form of uh, academic qualifications or a piece of paper. Um, but I've stuck with the course mainly because I enjoy it and I find it's worth the effort. I started the course in 1988 to um, be part of my job description that I have to complete the diploma. If you do your job well and you're interested in learning that this is just part of a satisfaction and gaining some recognition within the textile industry. Yeah, doing the course has uh, given me a more positive outlook on, on, uh, on my position at work. Um, I've learnt a lot in, in areas such as yarn testing and uh, lab uh, um, techniques uh, which is very important to my job and uh, especially uh, uh, areas such as uh, quality control. Yes I, I have some advice I, I'd recommend anyone to do it uh, with these competitive times you need an edge and I think that this uh, uh, particular outreach program can, can provide that. When we look at the people that are doing this program, they tend to be average age about 31, 32. They tend to have been into the industry for a while. They tend to have a lot of experience and knowledge. And um, what we try to do is facilitate that, if you like, and get you to share that knowledge and teach each other and learn from each other. Um, because, you know, in the four groups there, if you say that they started when they were 16, you're probably saying you've had 11, 12 years in the industry, multiply that by four or five people, you're talking about 60 years experience that can be shared with each other. It's interesting too to see the sorts of faces in front of me at the moment. They're the types of people that get involved with the other. Fairly ambitious and quite different things that we're starting to do in this company. Quality circles, just-in-time groups, um, consultative committees, etc. So that means if I'm recognising faces involved continuously in this sort of changing organisation of our company, then I'm sure your colleagues are seeing the same thing. And a celebration at the end of all this hard study seems a very fair way to conduct a graduation ceremony. The congratulations are sincere. Achieving this goal took persistence, hard work, and a determination to get ahead. The result is a much broader working knowledge of the textile industry as a whole, of its different operations and the materials it produces. 
expertise that each graduate can be proud of and that each employer needs as manufacturing takes on the challenge of the 1990s to win its place in the global marketplace.